What's up guys, it's Mike back again today, MFA. Thanks for tuning into the channel and I hope you're all doing very well. Right, today we've got a dual call RDA and this one's from MSM Tech and it's called the Phoebe. Now here it is, got the stainless steel version here. We've got it sitting on top of the Watofo recurve, which was designed by Mike Vapes. The review can be found on the channel for that one. But uh, going back to this Phoebe RDA, we're going to go down low first, show the packaging that it comes uh, with. And then we're going to throw a build in this one today as well. And then we'll come back up top and I'll tell you what I really think of it. Okay, see you down low in a bit. Right, we're down at the table. Here's the Phoebe RDA by MSN. I've got the stainless version here. We've got the product warning there. We've got the social media sites on this side. On this side here, we've got Shejan Omeka Technology Company Limited. And on the back, we've got another warning there and we've got the packing list. And we've also got your scratch and check there. Right, this is an outer sleeve and inside you get this uh, lovely little uh, zip up case here. So we've got the skull and uh, looks like he's smoking a pipe there, the, uh, the skull. So that's very interesting. Unscrew that, nothing on the back. Inside you're presented, the RDA comes in two parts, but this packaging really does stink and I really had to wash my RDA thoroughly so I didn't want to put it back in here. But to put that to one side, you get your little container here, we've got the logo on the top again. So inside the container, see we've got a couple of coils here, which is a nice touch. So it looks like we've got some sort of fused Claptons there. Two of them. What have we got here? We've got the regular 510, which it does come installed with, but we are going to have a little squonk today. And we've got two uh, flathead style screws, and they are tiny. The ones that come with it are as well, which I'm not overly happy with, but that's what we've got today. Right, so here is the Phoebe Atomizer then. So on the side you'll see we've got the logo here. Now, I think this is just printed on this particular logo. But uh, yeah, it feels a little bit rough. On the top we've got the 8M fitting, goon size fitting drip tips, which are held in by the O-ring on the inside there. So that just plugs in like so. I've had no troubles with any of my 8M fitting tips. So you've got this design going in here, like the in, inset part here, no sharp edges or anything, it's uh, very nice indeed. So we'll have a quick look on the bottom first, we've got Phoebe RDA there, usual warnings and designed by MSN. Now we've got the peak insulator surrounding the squonk pin, but uh, the original 510 pin does protrude enough in my opinion to use on a mechanical device. So I'm just going to put it on my Atti stand here. This is a Diddy Gaff one. So on the bottom here, you'll see we've got uh, MSN. It feels like it's engraved or, yeah, I think it's actually engraved in there. And we've got like this chain link design going on. This is also your airflow control ring. In fact, we'll take it off before we put it on there because this does actually pull off and then it exposes the two O-rings o o under there to help it go on. And if we look there, you can see we've got the three air hole holes which uh, go up underneath. So put this on here and you can adjust the airflow. This is your bottom airflow. So you can adjust it like so and the same will be on the other side too or you can totally close that part off. So put it back on this stand and you'll notice we've got this other hole here as well. So if we keep on going, you will eventually find a, another hole and there it is. So you can also adjust this uh, basically side airflow. I'll show you in a minute uh, what I'm talking about, but you can have uh, bottom airflow and side airflow and you can trim that down a little bit as well. So let's take that top cap off. So inside, we've got a little bit of a bank step thing going on in there. This is made out of stainless steel, this uh, cap is, as is the base. And uh, 
and here it is so you can see that bottom airflow so if we just have that open there so you can just see so it's going up and it comes out of these holes here but it's sort of directed at the angle towards your coil and we, as you can see on top you've got these very small flathead screws and we've got this like piece of it looks like Altum in the middle and in a minute I'll take out the squonk bin and uh, I can show you what I'm talking about with this because the actual airflow when it comes through the side here I'll try and zoom in a little bit you can just see there it goes through that block I'm not sure you can try to pick it up but you can just see there we've got like a dog leg and it goes upwards and it also goes down but it comes out again at this hole here to hit your coils from the side and quick look at the holes here so basically you have one leg over here one over this side trying to work out what one's the positive and negative it's quite tricky to see but uh, you can just about make out the peak insulators so this is the positive block here it just surrounds it this is therefore your negative block and uh, yeah that is that really but you'll notice with the, the holes we've got a, like a sort of lip there to help trap your lead but they're not independent holes so you could have a little bit of a struggle getting your uh, legs in there you basically just got to pull them apart a little bit to make sure they're going to fit in there right so yeah if you have got the core mask at all it's this largest one here so you can just put it in there unscrew it I like to keep hold of the actual posts as you're doing it so you've got the peak insulator there and this whole assembly just pulls out like that So that sits like that and then you need to grab hold of that part so if you're putting the regular 510 pin in you can do that but we are going to have a little squonk today so just keep hold of this section here because otherwise it won't go screw in properly right so I've just installed the build with this one like I say you have one leg on the outside one here the next one is the second one in like that but these screws are very tiny so if you're using your regular core mast one like this you really do find it a little bit of a struggle you need one that's even smaller than this so I've decided that uh, it was too much to try and show it on the camera but that's the positioning we've got so because it's angling outwards you don't have to have it right to the edge but like somewhere around that should be like about perfect so just going to put some cotton in now now I've got two pieces of Muji cotton here just rolled up the the end feed it through twist it as you're feeding same on this one and as you can see we've got uh, a very deep juice well in here I forgot to mention that so you do need quite long leads with this one so right about there Right, it's an RDA, so we're not going to worry too much about strumming the cotton out or anything. Just shove it in there, it should be fine.
Right, we'll be back up top with a Phoebe RDA from MSM Tech. Right, what do I think of it then? All right, we're going to the fit and finish of this one first. Uh, no rough edges or anything like that. It's very well machined. We've got a nice chunk of stainless steel for the top cap. Uh, yeah, very good quality materials, it seems, with, with this particular one. The, the bill deck is... We've got the old wall situation going on. I haven't seen this for a long time with the old uh, two posts with the four holes in, uh, much like the the Icon type RDAs and the uh, Recall Rebel, Rebel and your Goon type things, but they're obviously like that's got a clamp on it. But um, yeah, it's very well machined though throughout. And but one little niggle I got: these flathead screws are just tiny and. Uh, uh, I just find that they're going to strip very easily, so I'd be inclined to put my own uh, grub screws, hardened grub screws in here instead, the hex style ones. But yeah, fit and finish overall though is really good. We've got nice o-ring tolerances. Not the strongest in the world though, because like if you do hold it, it does feel like it's going to like come off the top cap. But uh, yeah, it's it's no dramas at all for for me really that with that one. The uh, you've got that adjustable airflow for the side uh, side of I can't get my words out today that's a nice little bit of restriction but it's nice and easy to, to turn the airflow control ring on the bottom has got a, a nice bit of uh, resistance to it so, so I really do like that one but uh, let's give it a little vape then shall we I've got the side airflow fully open and the bottom airflow fully open here we go Right, the airflow on this is remarkably smooth, in fact. Uh, but there is a little bit of restriction to it. I'd say this is an 8 out of 10 for uh, 10 being wide open. And, uh, yeah, I just find that uh, a lot of the time I do just leave the side and the bottom airflow fully open. But what you can do, you can shut off that side airflow, like partially or fully, so we'll just have the bottom airflow fully open. Here we go. Right, for me, that's a little bit more turbulent, the airflow. And you're obviously getting a hotter vape because we've got less air cooling the cores down. But I also think the flavour actually does diminish. For me personally, I like to have the side airflow either fully open or like partially blocked off. And you can like partially block off the bottom airflow as well, like have half and half for a little bit more restricted vape. Now I'm just going to give it a, a little squonk. That's one thing with this as well. The airflow, that side airflow hole, it, if you've got it open and you're squonking, the juice will tend to come out because you do need to give it quite a big squonk because the, the cores are obviously mounted up quite high on the, this particular device. So it's probably a good idea to close off that side airflow before you give it a good squonk. But you can get quite a nice size squonk with, before it actually does come out. But uh, it will leak if you over squonk it as with all drippers. But let's just give it a little toot then with half airflow on the side and half on the bottom. Yeah, still a little bit of turbulence there when you do that, but the flavour on it uh, really is good on this RDA. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a really good flavourful dual core RDA this one. But to be honest, I'd prefer having it uh, wide open all around, uh, all across the board, because I just think the vape quality is just that little bit smoother, the airflow. Just to give you another, another example here. You just feed it, just, it, it tends to like to be wide open, this one. But like I say, it's not a mammoth airflow anyway, so it has got that little bit of restriction. So for me, it's um, a cracking little RDA, this one. 
And I definitely think it works better by using that uh, side airflow as well, because it gives you the, the air from the side and underneath the coils, as well as the from underneath at the angle from the bottom airflow. So yeah, I think it's a really good design this one, and it uh, works really well. And the price of it was remarkably cheap. I think I paid the, about fourteen dollars from 3F Ape in China. So it's a cracking bit of kit for, for that money. And you also get this nice little handy zip up case that you can put like what you want in it really. You could like take that bit of foam out and you know put some cores or drip tips or whatever in it. And you also do get a couple of cores with it and you, you're up spare spare screws and uh, 510 connector and all of that and I just think like for the money you're getting a, a lot of good stuff for, for your money so yeah top marks to MSM for this one because uh, I actually believe this one will be staying in a rotation because the flavour is really good on it and the vape quality is up there too so a big thumbs up to MSM Tech for this if you did enjoy the video guys Please give it a little thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you, you like what you see, consider subscribing too and make sure you click on the little bell notification and you'll be notified of all my latest videos. Now I've got my own website too, it's mf8.co.uk and I can also be found on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So until next time guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Okay, cheers. <laughs>